The late president of Cornell University, Elizabeth Garrett, passed away earlier this month at the age of 52. She served as the leader of the Ivy League school for less than a year before she died from colon cancer. Now, earlier today, students, faculty, staff, friends, and family gathered on campus to celebrate her life. She was remembered as the friendly face and smile that aspired to do so much, and as a friend, they knew her as Beth. Cornell's 13th president who passed away on March 6th after a brave battle with colon cancer. The loss is enormous, institutionally unprecedented and profound, both for Cornell and for many of us personally. In the past 10 days, I have been flooded with condolences, expressions of disbelief, and memories of Beth from people whose lives she touched in Oklahoma, Virginia, Washington, Chicago, California, New York, China, and Israel. Beth was an extraordinarily passionate, courageous, and can-do leader who devoted her life to scholarship and public service. For so many of us, she was even more, Beth was family. Bob, you alluded to this in your, in your interviews with her. There are just some people in this world that suck oxygen out of a room when they enter it, and there are some that breathe life into it. And Beth breathed life into everything around her. She said, please, Orly, please tell them, be sure to tell them at Cornell that I think they're great, that there are important things in store for them, I am so proud of everyone, and I know that they'll be fine. There's a great road ahead for Cornell. Beth, we're gonna miss you so much. You were an awesome person. You inspired so many people to learn more, do more, and be more. Thank you, Beth Kelly. Anne Elizabeth was the first woman to serve as the university's president, and according to the Cornell Chronicle, she's also Cornell's first president to die while in office.